welcome to my channel if you're new you're welcome and thank you so much if you're returning savvy what it do baby you know the drill i see you fam i don't know if i should start off by apologizing for having been gone for so long but as you guys can see by the title that's the whole point of this video right so it's a life update to q and a so i did post on my instagram where you guys had to ask me questions and one thing about my followers yeah they will interact okay so without wasting any time let's get straight to the video so because obviously i'm recording with my phone i have um the questions on the other phone where i could read them out so the first question is what was the reason you ghosted us on youtube guys i'm not gonna lie when i started youtube school was showing my ass okay it was so hard i had to dump youtube okay and i still did let me tell you the academics still showed me flames i was like girl so this is still not an excuse it's been over a year how has life been treating you Guys, it was horrible. Thank God I didn't force this YouTube thing. It was horrible. I went through so much. I'm not going to get in deep into it. But I went to go like locally, financially, just in any kind of way that you can think of. Like I went through the most and I was like, ah, guys, no, it's it. like 2021 RIP. Thank you. <laughs> Next. Are you more excited or nervous about your future? Girl, there is nothing to be scared of. I am so excited. I'm looking forward to it. I actually can't wait. I'm angry for it, okay? Like, I just want it so badly. Where have you been? Ask no question. Here no last child. So someone's asking, what is your content about? So when I had started YouTube, I was just doing it, okay? I just wanted to start. I didn't know what i was going to be doing not that i do have a plan now but i know that i'm going to do, be doing a lot sorry i'm going to be doing a lot of traveling so my content is mostly going to be traveling content what are the three things on your bucket list mm. i genuinely want to do anything um bungee okay not bungee jumping hello skydiving hot air balloon zip lining anything which is a moyen definitely not uh, bungee jumping though but i've been watching a lot of videos and they give me so much anxiety and i changed my mind like uh, no so i'm not sure if it's still on my bucket list but yeah um secondly i want to get so much ink 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 um you guys will get to see that definitely getting ink and the third thing on my bucket list is go to central park in new york i want to go so bad especially after i watched um when they see us that's like the first place i want to get to i am so, like i genuinely want to go there i want to go there so bad what did you like to do when you grew up i would create some scripts in my head and i'd open the mirror or whatever it is that i'm going to be doing and i start presenting i would definitely just be there like three two one action anything media related i definitely love doing that like a lot okay would you prefer date nights with friends or significant other and why i don't know if i should reason this but definitely choose my friends any day i'm so sorry but like any day friends 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 yeah definitely friends like okay um what would you say to an 18 year old right now if i had to give an advice to an 18 year old i'd definitely say trust the process just be patient i don't know if you guys know but i have a tattoo on my left eye it's mark chapter 11 verse 24 it says whatever you ask for in prayer believe that you received it it shall be yours so it simply means that at an, as an 18 year old asking for anything from god he's already given it to you all you have to do is trust the process and be patient you know six years later i didn't think i'd be here i know i'm not where i want to be but i'm definitely not where i used to be so definitely trust the process what is your favorite color if this question was asked by a gent i'll definitely say you want to smash but because it's a girl i don't think i have a favorite color i like different colors for different reasons i like red for lipstick i like red for car black for clothing and great for aesthetics i don't know i just don't have like one specific color that i'd say is my favorite when were you born i was born on the 30th of september hashtag libra gang are you still friends with usamu yes of course Samu and i are still friends for those that don't know who Samu is she's a very close friend of mine i used to feature a lot when i started my youtube channel close one off. Ah, I'll close I'll when it's my channel don't subscribe. fuck with me and i think you guys will get to see her a lot so who is your favorite friend i don't know if this question is dumb or it's unfair but you you can never choose if you had to choose between all of your friends the other ones are fake i'm sorry but i don't have a favorite friend i like all of my friends for different reasons and i share a different relationship with all of them i have a group friend i have a church friend i have a friend that i talk deep things with i don't know i just feel like you can't have a favorite friend all of your friends should be special so 
who is your celebrity crush um <laughs> i love gamun pilla every time i explain it to people they don't get it i love the god in her i feel like god lives through that girl and one thing about me i obsess over people's breakthroughs and upcoming and how her life came about and we all witness that is the most beautiful and the craziest thing i've ever seen so i definitely love her as a person of course and then international i love marcus rashford he's a manchester united slash england fo football player and that's a black king right there <laughs> um how is life God would punish me right now. I'd be so unfair if I ever complained. Life has been amazing. I mean, it's a year later and I've met amazing people. I've achieved so many things and I've been hearing nothing but good news. Life couldn't be better. I'm just so grateful. That's all I can say. Life, life. I'm in a very good space. Um, is there anything you want to address? There was so, there are so many things I would address, but at this point, there's one specific thing that I would like to address, and simply because um, it's something that happened recently when someone asked me, I don't see you with so and so and so, what happened? One, two, three, da 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 da. And guys, siakula and ukula comes with outgrowing people. It does not mean beef, bopomasilwe, okay? Like, just because you and a certain person are not in each other's lives anymore does not mean, again, you guys have fought to anything. People are busy. Like, we have school, we have work. People are just doing their own thing, hustling. No one has time for anyone. Oh, my gosh. I don't know how to feel about this question because it's something that I'm asked a lot and it's really starting to get to me. Send a deep on Google because, like, what the hell? Um, so they say, do you really, do you genuinely watch football or you're pushing some sort of agenda slash status? Who in the hell watches Amadot Akijimai for 90 minutes just to push an agenda? Well, not me. Maybe you guys do it to impress, you know, but I don't do that. Okay. I genuinely love football. Of course, at first it started off as watching cute players and like oh my gosh look at Lingard, look at young you could whoever but now i genuinely love football if you're a south african and you're watching this video right now i bet you are a case chips or a pirates fan you know why because we grew up so obviously you're gonna watch football but i just don't know kune and teko mudise and or simply tabalala i know as far as why am i even arguing with you guys please don't waste my time youtube or instagram definitely youtube anytime all day every day if you go on my instagram right now the last post i posted was last year october so that should say a lot to you if you see a champagne or a wine glass on my status or story or whatever that's fake content definitely fake because i would definitely i don't do those things i'm sorry but yeah that's not my stuff so fake 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 content unless obviously i'm at a restaurant and i'm having cocktail but does not mean i'm a cocktail girl do you believe in girlfriend allowance <laughs> how do you believe in mkholomdo like that's someone's salary let's start there okay obviously like any other hun we definitely appreciate it would love it would be happy for it but bang at the next month in the like no that's that's weird it's not cute it's not giving no definitely not the word believe no are you pregnant <laughs> guys i was five years ago i was um eight years ago i still am now don't you think my daughter slash son would be doing grade one right now like of course i'm not please stop with this rumor um where do you stay i stay in the east end um in nigel slash springs i don't know in between and the actual reason why i'm again laughing is because apparently i live in santon and some niger boy pays for my rent 11 11 guys please like what sabawel what turns you off so many things I mean, not perfect whatsoever, but so many things turn me off. But perverts, if you had to say my pet peeve, perverts, I cannot stand perverts to save my life. If you make people feel uncomfortable and you say, you say weird things that are not supposed to be said, especially to a woman, why would you do that? Like, that is fucking weird, okay? It's more like saying, I'm in the shower or in the bath and I'm about to, and you're like, can I join? Consider yourself blocked. Because, ew. 
the fuck? Stop being weird, guys. It's the same thing as if you're in bed and you say, I'm about to sleep, and someone says, um, what are you wearing? Really? 2022? Still do that? How many um, piercings do you have? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on my burly. This is not real, so it does not count. So basically, oh my gosh, it sounds like a lot. I have seven um, piercings altogether. Again, this does not count because it's not real. What is your goal for this channel? Um, <laughs> oh my God. I think I want to inspire slash motivate some of you guys you know i feel like most of the time we know people and we are seeing them doing great things but we don't know where they come from how far they've come what they had to go through to get there and you guys having to witness that with me would really be amazing imagine pointing out at me or saying oh my gosh i know her we went to the same school we were friends we dated or we watched her videos um when she had started i don't know there could be so many beautiful things that you'd say about someone you saw start here and now they're there and again from my mouth to god's ears i hope amazing things happen to me and i hope you get to get inspired and grow with me and many other stuff that i can't say but i'm so excited about um what's that one thing you'd love to see this year i would definitely want to do something cute for myself on my special day i feel like all my life i've had to please people i've had to um bag people on my special day okay that was until last year and i put a stop to it never again okay it's never gonna happen again i disagree no 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 um who's your favorite youtuber mm -hmm. i love watching kukuletu nyanzumba she's an amazing youtuber she's so different from other youtubers her content is different basically and she's a natural man she flows she doesn't have to think what to say next she doesn't have to i'm not saying she doesn't script whatsoever i don't i don't know that but i'm just saying that she's a natural like once she puts the camera on she goes on and on and on and she makes um, sense what was the most uncomfortable embarrassing moment of your life Wait, there's so many things i think I was at the park studying with my friends and then I was wearing a white jean. You already know where this is going. Boom, there was blood. And I kept on walking and walking and walking until my fake friends who were with me at that time could not tell me. And I think they walked behind me or something and then they were like, oh my gosh. And I was like, oh, what, what, what? They were like, oh my gosh, take it, Jay-Z. And deep down, I'm just like, it's too late. Do you know how many people we had to pass? But again, it's okay. It's in the past. Can I please have your number? When I just like, why would you ask it on my Q and A, not on my DM? Like, be a better person, do a right thing. Um, what size do you wear? I don't know if this was like for Islango or any impas, or any fun surprise or something cute. <laughs> but I wear size three embarrassing with eggy and then i'm a size four on the heel i think it all depends on it design is slang here i'm a size 28 i'm a size 28 extra extra small child petite girls world wow can you please <laughs> can you please do a 21st pato guys literally like 21st dm was the most beautiful amazing thing i've ever had to do in my life and i'm so grateful for my parents for that those that were there no it was so big i went all out although i do regret some of the things but it's still okay i had a blast okay it was amazing and i was really sad when i found out that all the whole night a photographer wasn't taking videos wasn't taking pictures he literally just went shit and i was like what like dude are you serious right now so those that were there know how amazing it was it was beautiful are you closer yes i'm closer but my closer is so diluted it's so embarrassing and every time i speak closer with jobic people they're like oh my gosh it's closer like i said deeper same nandi wait until i get home well not home but whenever i go to the eastern cape they're just like 
what girl what are you even saying you're not making sense <laughs> what the hell you know what is your what is your toxic trait okay my toxic trait is that i wake up early until i'm late i'll basically if i have an appointment at maybe 10 or i have to be at somewhere 10 i'll definitely be up at 7 and i'll be in bed until i'm late like where guys let me booze so someone's asking me do i really wear lenses or glasses like i can't see what my of course like why would i okay let me show you guys actually these are prescribed oh my gosh i'm so pretty <laughs> these are prescribed um i can't see i wear glasses it's like it's really bad so 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 bad so i to say the best for last people want to know are you seeing someone in a relationship are you happy do you have a boyfriend this guy collection of his f is me bozo Guys, if you are watching this part of the video, I'm assuming that you've made it this far. So you might as well like, comment, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell. So you're the first one to see whenever I upload a video. And thank you so much for the love one more time. See you on the other side.